Hello, dear brothers and sisters. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Welcome again to a new series of our whole series entitled The Joyful Truth. Today's session, we're going to talk about exactly how your choices matter. A little prayer to get us going. O oh Lord my God, teach my heart this day where and how to see you, where and how to find you. You have made me and remade me. You have bestowed on me all good things I possess, and still I do not know you. I have not yet done that for which I was made. Teach me to seek you, for I cannot seek you unless you teach me, or find you unless you show yourself to me. Let me seek you in my desire. Let me desire you in my seeking. Let me find you by loving you. Let me love you, and I, and I find you. Amen. Your choices matter, my friends. Yes, they do. Learning to make great choices is one of the best skills you can develop. Decision-making is central to everything we do. Do we live our life wisely or do we spend it? Life is precious and so beautiful. Just ask a couple who have welcomed their first child into the world. They will tell you how precious and how beautiful life is. Life is also fragile and short. Ask someone who has just been told, uh, his doctor, that he has only three, three, or four, three or four months to live. He will tell you how fragile life is. Life is all ahead of you. What will you do with your life? Learning to make great choices is essential. James and Jessica are brothers and sisters. James is 18. Unfortunately, he's serving a life sentence in a prison for murder. He lost his temper and shot a man when he was being insulted. For a while, James thought he was the victim of one bad decision. Over time, he came to realize that he was not the victim of a bad decision. He was the author of that bad choice. A few more months passed. He came to understand that it was not one bad decision that led to his life altering event. It was a long series of choices. He chose to join the gang. He chose to steal a gun. He chose to spend time in places where drugs and alcohol were abused and used. He chose not to go to school some days. He also chose to start drinking, to go out late at night. Then one night, all of these choices exploded together to change his life forever. He chose to lose his temper. He chose to pull the trigger. Little choices do matter. While on the other hand, Jessica, his sister, is a super athlete and about to graduate at the top of her class. She chose to be a hardworking student. She chose not to stay out late at parties. She chose to wake up before sunrise and go to training. She chose not to smoke or drink. She chose not to hang out with people who were a bad influence. She chose to push herself harder than anyone else at training. And all of these choices have transformed her and her life. Jessica and James both made many choices, but their choices were very different. Little choices matter because they become the foundation for bigger decisions. But sometimes it only makes and takes decision to change the direction of your life for better or for worse. That's the thing about choices. Sometimes what we think is a small decision could be the biggest decision of your life. Every choice you make is proof that you are free. Free will, my dear ones, is one of God's greatest gifts to humanity, as well as one of our greatest burdens. To guide you in the use of this incredibly powerful gift, God has also given you reason and conscience. Reason, it's the capacity for logical, rational, and analytical thoughts. Conscience, it's that inner voice that encourages you to do good and to avoid evil. God speaks to us through our conscience. So reason and conscience work together to help you distinguish good actions from bad ones. Reason and conscience work together to help you discover the best way to live. All choices are not equal. Some choices are good choices, some others are bad. And you usually know at the time if you are making a good or bad one. 
The inner voice of conscience encourages you toward what is good and right. Are you good at making decisions? What is the best choice you made in the past 24 hours? What's the worst choice you made in the past 24 hours? How can you make better choices in the future? God wants you to become a great decision maker. This is one of the reasons he sends us the Holy Spirit. Please ask the Holy Spirit to guide and counsel you. You will find yourself making better choices. That has been my personal life experience, and I guarantee it, it will be the same for you all. Every day, you make hundreds of choices which determine the direction of your life. Sometimes you choose the best version of yourself. Sometimes you choose a second-rate version of yourself. Every time you say yes to something, it changes who you ever are. It's time to start taking your choices seriously. Next time you need to make a decision, please just ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. If you don't want to know who you are and what you are here for, if you don't know what matters most or what matters least, you may be experiencing an identity crisis because we all experience this identity crisis at different times in our lives. But let me tell you something. God wants you to solve your identity crisis. That happens the day you realize that you are a child of God and that God is your father. You get your identity first from God. Until then, until you realize this, we are lost. God bless you all.